Today's morning devotional. Fruit bearing. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10. Christ is seeking to reproduce himself in the hearts of men, and he does this through those who believe in him. The object of the Christian life is fruit bearing the reproduction of Christ's character in the believer, that it may be reproduced in others. The plant does not germinate, grow, or bring forth fruit for itself, but to give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So no man is to live unto himself. The Christian is in the world as a representative of Christ, for salvation of other souls. There can be no growth or fruitfulness in the life that is centered in self. If you have accepted Christ as a personal savior, you are to forget yourself, and try to help others. Talk of the love of Christ, tell of his goodness. Do every duty that presents itself. Carry the burden of souls upon your heart, and by every means in your power seek to save the lost. As you receive the Spirit of Christ the Spirit of unselfish love and labor for others you will grow and bring forth fruit. The graces of the Spirit will ripen in your character. Your faith will increase, your convictions deepen, your love be made perfect. More and more you will reflect the likeness of Christ in all that is pure, noble, and lovely. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23. This fruit can never perish, but will produce after its kind a harvest unto eternal life. When the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Christ is waiting with longing desire for the manifestation of himself in his church. When the character of Christ shall be perfectly reproduced in his people, then he will come to claim his own. It is the privilege of every Christian not only to look for but to hasten the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Were all who profess his name bearing fruit to his glory, how quickly the whole world would be sown with the seed of the gospel. Quickly the last great harvest would be ripened, and Christ would come to gather the precious grain. As the plant takes root in the soil, so we are to take deep root in Christ. As the plant receives the sunshine, the dew, and the rain, we are to open our hearts to the Holy Spirit. The work is to be done, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6